What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, to my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoyed my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading for all signs, caps, and sides, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading for all signs. Love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. We're at 13,000. 258, I think, right now. Something like that. Hold on. Yeah. 13,258. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Precious to Row 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out. No Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate if you choose to, to, to donate. Um, just to update everybody, I have taken my address off. I got a spiritual download earlier for, for me. To take my address off of my channel. So I have. So if you want to send me a gift. Or anything of that nature. You need to text me. To um, get my address. Okay. Uh, just let everybody know. Okay. Um, I'm currently closed for personal readings. I might consider opening, the, opening them up. Possibly. But they're closed right now. Okay. Um, love you guys so much. From the bottom of my heart chakra. Love and appreciate you guys. Okay, so I received another channeling, so we're going to do it. Um, sorry. <laughs> Since I got the new chair, the cats are loving the chair. I'm loving the new chair. So um, he's over here like, eh. so we're just saying. Okay, so let me get comfy in my office chair. Okay, so um, the channel message I received was um, a very toxic, obsessive Libra, which I've been pulling very unhealthy, toxic Libra energy in heavy since yesterday. Um, now, if you are not a toxic, unhealthy Libra and you are a high vibrational Libra, this message is not for you, you guys. I have some new newbies on the channel. So you have to plug the message or messages in how they apply to your own specific story and situation, okay? If the story on the that I'm pulling in when I do the reading is not for you or the message or messages is not for you, you have to let it fly, okay? One message may apply, two may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Only you know your specific story and situation, not anybody else. So you have to plug it in how it resonates, okay? So if you're not a toxic, obsessive Libra, then that's not you. If you're high vibrational and you treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, values, and integrity, that's not you, okay? You have to plug it in how it resonates. So I heard a very unhealthy, obsessive Libra has been trying to, um, has been behind the scenes trying very, very, very hard to uh, prevent um, a high vibrational fire sign femme from relocating. But it is about to backfire in their face in a huge way through many series of chain of events. They're about to have to watch this happen whether they want want to want it to or not, is what I heard. So you plug it in how it resonates. Now I don't know if this Libra is masculine or feminine. I didn't hear that. But the person they're trying to hold back is a very high vibrational fire sign feminine, Aries Leo Sage Fem. They could have Aries Leo Sage in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Men, Haven, and Jupiter charts. But I heard the Libra is very unhealthy and very talk, uh, obsessive. So I don't know if that's mental health un unhealthy, which I, I'm feeling it's mental health unhealthy because I heard obsessive. So I, anytime you're obsessed with anything, that's unhealthy. So I think mentally obsessed with this person. That's why they want to hold this person back. Um, so I'm thinking mental health unhealthy. It could be physically unhealthy too, possibly. I'm not sure. Only this toxic, uh, obsessive Libra knows their story, not anybody else. I feel for the majority of you guys, you know these people. I feel you know these people and you're about to see this play out or you are seeing this play out or you know some of these people and you're seeing it play out. How that resonates, okay? But it's a very toxic, unhealthy Libra. I'm feeling mentally because they're, they're mentally obsessed with this person. It reminds me of like the Mariah Carey song. Why are you so obsessed with me? Boy, you ought to know. Ah, no, don't be obsessed with me. Don't be freaking obsessed with me, man. Just saying, just saying. You know, but ugh. but some people like the clout and the blase, blase, blase. I've never been one of those chicks. Never have been. But some people like that. But anyway, so 
but I heard their miniseries are trying. Oh, so they're behind the scenes, behind the scenes trying blocking. I think they know this virus on them wants to move, or they either want to move or they're making plans to move. I would relocate. So um, they're behind the scenes trying to block it because they're so mentally obsessed with this person. They want to keep them stuck, but that's not healthy. It's not healthy. Um, definite mental health obsession here, mental, unhealthy mental health issues. It, there may be physical unhealthy issues here too, but I don't know. But de I'm definitely feeling unhealthy mental health issues for sure. So much so you're going behind the scenes to try to block somebody. I mean, that's unhealthy mental health issues all day long. But I heard basically it's about to backfire and this person's about to, um, through many series of chain events, it's about to happen anyways, whether this person wants it to or not. So you plug it in how it resonates. Yikes. They became so obsessed. And still are now. Okay, I heard they became so obsessed and still are now. So they became so obsessed with this high vibrational fire sign film in the past and they still are now? That's not healthy. It's not healthy. Someone else is getting a huge wake-up call. Someone else is getting a huge wake-up call. So someone else is getting a huge wake-up call about this situation. Um, hopefully you're high vibrational, sir, ma'am, about this unhealthy obsession mental obsession i'm feeling mental obsession with this person um th that's not healthy it's not healthy spirit messages you have for the person and by the way i'm not a mariah carey fan but that song is what this reminds me of and i'm just serious okay we've got horse spirit messages you have for the It is time for cycles to change, and they're about too soon in many, many, many areas for many people. Okay, I heard it's a time for cycles to change, and they're about to um, in many, many, many areas for many people. So it's time for cycle changes to occur. It sounds like for a lot of you guys. Um, I'm feeling for a lot of you guys, like I said, you know of this situation, or you know one of these people, or what have you, what have you. Uh, I heard it's time for cycles to change, and um, they're about to, basically, for many people. So. As much as this obsessive, mentally, mentally obs unhealthy, obsessive person doesn't want this person to relocate, it sounds like it's going to happen whether they want it to or not. Um, but it sounds like it needs to. It sounds like it needs to happen because obsession, mental health obsession with somebody is never a good thing. That's how serial killers happen. That's how stabbings happen. That's how shootings happen. That's how like rapes happen. That's how crazy crap happens. Someone is getting a huge wake up call. Someone is getting a huge wake up call. I'm serious, you guys. I'm serious. That is how those horrible, horrific things happen. If anybody needs to hear that, um, I'm serious. I heard from the spiritual download, it needs to happen and it's going to happen whether this person wants it to or not. It need. it, it sounds like it needs to happen in the universe, but not just for the, this situation. It sounds like for a lot of you guys, and it's about to happen. Cycle changes are happening and about to happen for a lot of you guys. Maybe for some, you're about to ha help this person get out, possibly. Um, or ha maybe help this person get some mental health treatment to help cope with this. Um, however, that resonates in one's life, okay? We have horse and swan. For some, you could be a um, earth sign or air sign. If you are, you have, you have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or air, um, or sorry, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Warp, Moon, Midham, or Jupiter charts. Or you could be deal, dealing with the earth sign or a air sign. This person is a Libra, uh, very toxic Libra though. This person's an Aries, Leo, Sag, high vibrational. Um, but I feel for the cycle changes for the rest of you guys about to happen soon and quickly, maybe about to help this situation. Hopefully this person can get some mental health treatment, maybe some counseling um, or therapy or something. And I'm serious because this, I heard it needs to happen. It doesn't sound like these people live together or they, 
I, I don't, I mean, it sounds like they're two separate interviews. It sounds like they're, even if they live together, this is unhealthy. But I don't feel they do. Two completely different energies separated from each other. Not a part of each other's lives. Two completely different energies separated from each other, not a part of each other's lives. Okay, so that's what I was feeling. These people, I don't even think they communicate with each other. I don't think they even freaking communicate with each other. Someone else is getting a huge wake-up call. Someone else is getting a huge wake-up call. I'm serious. I, um, I heard they're two completely separate energies, so I don't even think they communicate with each other. Talk I mean, this person wants to go. This person trying to work behind the scenes to get them not to go. That's not healthy. It's really not, you guys. Um, but I, but you guys, cycle changers. Oh, hold on. Let me plug my battery in. Hold. On. Okay, you guys, cycle changers. I feel you could be an earth sign or a high vibrational air sign. So you could be a high vibrational earth sign or a high vibrational air sign down here for the cycle changer energy. I think for some, you're about to help this happen is what I'm feeling. And I'm serious with the horse and the swan. I do. So you could be a Taurus Capricorn Virgo or air, uh, high vibrational Gemini Libra Aquarius about to help this break away this toxicity. Possibly for some. And I'm serious. Um, this is, oof, this is scary. This is something that should be on the, uh, well, this is like something you see on like first 48. If these people like came into contact, I, I hope this person, this person, I think they're so obsessed. They might do something crazy. I didn't hear they were going to, but I don't even want to know if they came into contact because this person is working so hard to try to prevent it. Why? Why? Horse. This toxic Libra was trying to slow things down so badly. But it's about not to happen. It's about to speed, speed, speed up. This toxic Libra was trying to th slow things down so badly, but it's about to speed, speed, speed up. So I feel horse energy. Um, horse Horses are very, they can be very fast. Um, very fast. Um, so speedy energy. Eight of Wands, speedy energy. Fast horse energy galloping yay i mean it's gonna happen whether um this person unhealthy obsessive libra wants it to happen or not um it sounds like this person needs to do some healing shadow and shadow work on themselves and i'm serious because i heard these people don't even they're like not even in the same energetic space so they don't even i don't even feel they communicate with each other um so it's better just to for everybody move on separately and i'm just being for real we're just about to speed up whether this person wants it to or not. So speedy energy. Swan. The growth is about to be phenomenal. Phenomenal. For many people soon. And this high vibrational fire sign feminine. The growth is about to be phenomenal uh, for many people soon and for this fire sign feminine, high vibrational fire sign feminine. Hopefully for this person too, if somebody that really cares about this person can convince them to go get some counseling or therapy or something uh, to cope with this. Um, but it doesn't sound like they need to be in the same energetic space because this person is not in a correct, healthy mental facet to even handle this person staying because they don't, I mean, they want them stuck, but they don't want them to grow. They don't want them to flourish. That's not healthy. That's abusive. If anybody needs to hear that. Um, and I'm serious. Um, so I heard basically um, the growth is about to be beautiful. It's about to be beautiful like a swan. I, this reminds me of like ugly duckling to swan energy. Um, you know, the children's book the ugly duckling it was uh ugly duckling as a child and as a baby but when it grew up it grew up to a beautiful swan so i feel this um i this aries leo sag femme has been stuck stagnant in wherever she's at 
she knows she is. She's smart enough to realize she is, so she's about to relocate, I think, out of her area or her state or her city or what have you to flourish and become the swan. So she knows she needs to do something to help herself flourish. Series of chain events are about to be created to where she can, is what it sounds like here. But for you guys, you guys are about to flourish and grow like a swan too. Because I heard the growth is about to be beautiful not only for her, so she's about to experience huge growth. I don't know if this is before she moves or after she moves. I didn't hear that specific part. But she's about to turn into a swan too. And you guys are about to turn into a swan. Through many series of chain events, I think the growth and healing and shadow work you're about to do on your own self to make you beautiful beings. And um, I, don't, I'm not, I don't even feel this is, ex, ex, it could be aesthetically, um, but I feel inside work on yourselves too, is what I'm feeling. Because you're not the swan external, like this is a pictorial representation, yes, but that it's internal healing and shadow work done on the inside too, not just the external. Yeah, the swan's beautiful, but they're beautiful on the inside, too, if that makes sense. So, I feel you're going to do healing and shadow work on your inside self and your external self, and so is this person. I think you guys are connected to her, or you're about to be. Um, and I'm serious. Hopefully, this person can get some therapy or counseling to where they can become the swan separately on their own without this person. And I'm just being for real. Pull another one is what I just heard. Pull another one. Okay. Spirit message is here. Have a okay. Panther, for some, you could be a fire sign, Aries Leo Sag, possibly, or taking on the Panther energy. This is Aries Leo Sag energy. If you already have Aries Leo Sag in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Moon, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. Many people are getting huge wake-up calls about this single mother being stuck. And they're about to help her out in a huge way. It's not right. Retaliation is never right. Okay. I heard, um, oh, so she's a single mother. So she's a single, single mother, Aries Leo Sage, Fem. I heard many people are about to get huge wake-up calls about um, this single mother, Aries Leo Sage, being um, intentionally stuck. Uh, for strategic reasons, it sounds like. Um, and they're about to help her out in a huge way. Retaliation is never the key. So, I'm feeling you guys down here, because there's a lot of you guys down here about to start growing and cycle changing in positive swan-like ways, speedily with the horse and the swan. But you're also about to be angry because you have already gotten a huge wake-up call or you're about to about the single mother Swan energy, Aries Leo Sag, that has been intentionally stuck in a toxic environment or toxic community because of retaliation. And you're about to get angry like the Panther energy and help her out. Whoever you are, sir, ma'ams. There's a lot of you guys down here. So you have to plug yourself in if you're down here or not, okay? And in this situation, if you're not, you're not, okay? That's exactly the energy I'm feeling here. And retaliation, retaliation is never okay. It really is never okay. 
But there is a single mother fire sign out there in a toxic community in a toxic area right now that has been retaliated against. And you guys are about to learn about this or you already know learned about it and you're about to help her out if you fall into this category down here. Now, only you know if you fall into this category down here or not. So you have to plug yourself in where you fit, okay? But it's about to be fast movement. You're about to be angry about it or you already are angry about it. And you're about to do a lot of healing, growth, and shadow work inside yourself. Make your cycles change fast with the horse energy. And make her cycles change fast. So she can get out of Dodge and this talk out of this toxic ass community because of retaliation. I heard because of retaliation. So it, she was stuck because of retaliation. But you're about to help her get unstuck um, because retaliation is not never okay. And it is never okay, you guys. Retaliation is never the key. And that's just the truth. It's the truth. So whatever series of chain of events you're going to create positively to help her get stuck out of this toxic community and toxic area, um, because of retaliation in the past, only you know what um, series of chain events you're going to create there, okay? All right, you guys, well, we're done. I hope this helped. Let me see if I hear anything else. This was a good one. It started off a little rough, but it was good at the end. About to happen fast, 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 fast. About, about to happen fast, 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 fast. So fast energy. It's about to happen fast. Hopefully, one of you guys cares enough to ask this person if they want some therapy or counseling or something. Because um, this person sounds like they might need it. And I'm, I'm not judging anybody, but I'm serious. If they're that obsessed with this person... It's never healthy to be obsessed with anybody like that. And it just, it never is. So, um, hopefully they can get some help. And I'm serious. Um, all right, you guys. Everybody have a wonderful day. And I'm safe.